Hey everybody, it's Ben Lubar again. I'm not entirely sure what happened, but for some reason a bunch of the missions disappeared from the map. I don't know, so we'll just continue. And I guess we have to do this mission. So hopefully we'll be able to figure out what's going on, and hopefully those missions will show up again. But if not, I guess they're lost. I hope at least we don't lose the soldiers that were going to be obtained from those missions. We just got word from the spokesman. Apparently the aliens have captured a VIP of critical importance to the resistance effort and they'd like us to handle the rescue operation. We'll need to lock down the area, free the VIP, and evac the target as quickly as possible. There we go. Okay. So the engineer is in a jail cell there, and then I need to keep going in that same direction. We're in a concealed position. That makes it pretty simple. Okay, Sound just copy. kind of move everybody up. Hopefully there's nobody who's going to flank this person. I don't think there is, but... There, we're good. Okay. Uh, go there. Uh, guess I'll just keep moving people up. Keep moving up, and... Into position, let's go. Oh, we can't go that far. Okay, let's go here. Let's do this. Got it covered. Okay, so there's a tower there. But we shouldn't have to run into that. Hopefully we'll see the aliens before they see us. Wow, this is really long for the aliens to not show up at all. Affirmative. Maybe they're all right next to the VIP. Got it covered. Yeah, they could be near the VIP. Moving to Overwatch. Oh, there they are. Okay. So assuming they're not in good cover, I should be able to get them on this turn. Okay, let's see. Who can actually attack them? Rolling. Move some people up into position. Roger. Got my eyes on. Uh, this is a shotgun user. Put you in overwatch. Uh, I guess just being in position is better than not being able to shoot at all this turn. Did they flank him? Please tell me they didn't flank him. I don't think they did. Okay, we're fine. Uh, that's the shotgun user. 
We can do a long watch, which is overwatch for a sniper. And move up. Okay. Here comes the crazy part. So the aliens are over there. I'm not going to be able to get them just by running up to them. Because I'm going to be too far away. So... Can I use run and gun? Oh, I can take an action after dashing. So that would let me throw a grenade, I think. Moving to fire position. So let's go here. And if I can't throw a grenade, I can still shoot at them. Yep, I can throw a grenade. Okay. So let's hit all three of them with a flashbang. There we go. They found us. That's it? Okay. Hopefully they move in a way that I can get them on their turn. Oh, we're flanked. Yeah, I'm more worried about the engineer flanking us than the the drone, but that's just going to be a flashbang. So we still didn't take any damage. Did that work? Maybe that was a disorient, and he's already disoriented, so it didn't do anything. Okay. So we got our disoriented people. I'm just going to move them a short distance into cover. Oh, okay. That's fine. We used up an overwatch, and we didn't really waste that much. I'm going to put my disoriented people into overwatch. Just because it's probably safer than trying to shoot with them this turn. Uh, let's go in there. We won't get an opportunity to overwatch with that character, but it's probably worth it. Uh, I guess I could move this character over here. Yeah, let's shoot the drone. Okay, that did two damage. It's got three health, though. Uh, I could bring this... Yeah, let's, let's go shotgun the sectoid. Okay. And we can snipe, but it's not going to be that accurate. I can also move my character up here, and then they will be able to take shots. Oh, actually, up here might be even better. No, because then I'm on the wrong side of the street. If I go here, I might be able to get them. I don't think that's actually worth it. Uh, yeah, let's go here. Go, go, go! then at least we have the ability to aim in the correct direction. We're not blocked by the building. Okay, if I put a character over here... Hmm, I do need to get that drone. I also need to get these soldiers. Maybe here? But that would be flanked by the engineer. Uh, I can shoot the drone from here, I'll try that. I missed. Okay, the enemies are no longer disoriented. Well, that worked. Okay. X-ray neutralized. Evidence located. Incoming over here. Take 
insectoid shoots the potted plant instead of the soldier. Okay, they're gonna shoot a flashbang at my assault. Okay. Okay, so the assault no longer has armor. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, where's my sniper? There we go. Uh, that's 37%, that's 33%. That is 25%. Okay, let's go for the 37. It's not gonna get much better than that. At least for this character. And it worked, okay. So, where can I move this character? Now that there's no engineer able to attack from that angle, we could fight that way. Let's see, what's over here? We've got loot over here. We have an enemy soldier here. I wonder. If I move my shotgun or, or assault character away, where, where would a good place to go away to? That's, that's probably far enough away. So now, let's try out that flamethrower. Oh, it doesn't reach, but I'm not disoriented. So I can go here and then use it. Yep, that's gonna be it. So even though that only did two damage, that character is dead. Because if they try to move, they'll get hit by the fire and they'll burn to death. And if they don't try to move, they'll get hit by the fire and burn to death. Okay, let's go here. Let's overwatch. Oh, actually, there's advent troops. Let's see if they're going to be in a position where I can hit them. Where is that one? That one is against that cover. Got 43% to hit that one, and the other ones are too far away. But I can hit them with a flashbang, I think. Oh, I can only hit one of them with a flashbang? Well, hmm. Can I? I guess it wouldn't make sense to throw it at a table. Because the table isn't really something I can interact with. Okay, I guess over... Oh no, they're, they are flanked right now. So, I can move them inside. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, there's an engineer over there. If I move here, they're flanking me. If I move there... Someone over there is probably flanking me. But assuming that that is only being flanked by this soldier, I could probably go here and be pretty safe. Yeah, I'm pretty safe. Okay, let's shoot at the soldier that's over here, but... Because we're going to have a little easier time doing it with a flamethrower, we'll use the flamethrower. Let's do that angle. Hmm. Okay. We're using lots of flamethrowers. Okay, we can hit that one. That's not really important. Uh, I guess Overwatch. Overwatch! They're going to reanimate the corpse in the fire, I believe. Yeah, that's what they did. They're going to try... Oh, they marked someone, but they marked the one that's in full cover for some reason. Not sure what they were expecting. Okay, so I'm still on Overwatch. Well, this is Overkill. Well, is he not burning? Huh. That's weird. Apparently he's not burning. Would have thought he would be burning. 
Okay, disorientation removed. 6% to hit that one. 0% to hit that one. Uh, let's not do that right now then. We go here. And we're in cover. And we can hit the... Uh, oh, we've got a flank right there. Sure, let's do it. Only one damage, wow. Maybe a flash okay, that's 39%. Probably not good enough. I'm gonna go up ahead. Then hopefully we'll have a better shot on the next turn at something. Uh, I can go up here. I won't have the ability to shoot this turn, but next turn I can shoot. But wait, this is the shotgun user, so I want to be close to the enemy. Uh, if I go there, I won't really have a good shot. Can I hit any of these guys with a frag? Uh, could try over here. That looks like it's cover. On the move. So I got 51% to hit with the shotgun. I'm just gonna use the grenade though. This is for you. Okay. Uh, we've got the soldier there. We've got the the sectoid that reanimated the corpse. I'm going to put this soldier up on the roof, and then he should have a better shot at the sectoid. Uh, that's probably going to be good enough. What if I do a grenade instead? That's not going to deal enough damage. Rocket? No, that's that's too variable. And the flamethrower would not deal enough damage. So, we're shooting at the sectoid. And it missed. Target's still up. Oh, we might be able to hit the sectoid from here. We should have probably used hollow target. Uh, I guess Overwatch again. Overwatch. We could hit the zombie, or we could hit the trooper. Let's actually go for the zombie, because I'm not sure if we'll be able to kill the sectoid this turn. So that at least means that the sectoid will only have one chance to attack and not two. Oh, that's a mind control. That's not good. So now we have to kill the sectoid to get that soldier back. And if we try to overwatch in that area, we're gonna actually be able to hit our own soldier with our shots. Oh, that's not good. That is a gravely wounded soldier right there. Okay. So can we hit the sectoid with anything? We would need to hit it with, hopefully, a flashbang. Because that's guaranteed to stop the uh, mind control. Uh, that would be in fire. Oh, that's not fire. Huh. That looks like fire. Oh, but the fire's on the tree. Uh, I don't really have any good choices here. Because I'm... I'm in an overwatch area from the enemies. I could go here, and hopefully I'd be able to hit the sectoid on the next turn. But that would assume that my soldier doesn't kill my soldier. Okay. Uh, this character can also move somewhere. Let, let's go here. We don't want that soldier to be able to kill us. So do we have somebody who can throw... Oh, there's a flashbang. That'll work. That should work. Okay, so now they're no longer overwatching. And that means that it's safe for this soldier to get out of there. Let's use... Where's some better cover? That's probably pretty good cover. I will eventually need to move this soldier to the end of the map. But for now... Let's go here, because I don't think anything can aim at that from the ground. Uh, 
okay. So, what are we flanked by? We're flanked by this soldier who I thought I had killed already, but I didn't. Uh, let's just use a grenade, I guess. Yeah, that's gonna be as good as it is. Okay, what else can we do? We want to make sure that the sectoid can't shoot us, but also that our own troop can't shoot us. Can we throw a flashbang grenade that far? No. Should we risk a rocket? Well, three tiles should still hit it. Where's, where's the rocket? Oh no, that would end up over here. We ought to be careful not to hit ourselves. Okay, that should work. Nope, that did not work at all. Well, crap. Okay, what's the mind-controlled soldier gonna do? Now, even though he's mind-controlled and he's technically on the alien side, the aliens can still shoot at him. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully I can do this. Okay, let's see. I want to reload and shoot at the sectoid at the same turn. That's probably going to be safe. Oh. Okay. I should have probably moved closer and then hit the sectoid. Uh, what can we do with this soldier? Where's the injured soldier? The injured soldier's on the roof. Where's the best way to the roof? Probably here. So I'm gonna go here. Oh, I did not know they were overwatching. Yeah, we're still alive, though. So we should be able to at least heal one of the soldiers. Uh, we could go here. Out. And then we could shoot at them and hopefully we'll kill them. Well, let's hope. That worked. Okay. That's our tiny piece of good luck so far. Target, down. Target asset sighted. Okay, we need to reload. And then I'm gonna move this character into the cover that the uh, Advent officer was using. And they can grab whatever item the Advent officer had. It was a suppressor. Okay. So now we have the ability to shoot our own soldier, but we can't shoot the sectoid. And that's not what we want. We could try moving to cover here. That would be the sectoid able to see us. We can move here, and hopefully we can throw a grenade far enough to at least distract the sectoid. I hope that frags work like that. I don't think that's gonna hit the sectoid. Uh, if we shoot with the pistol, we're gonna have a very low chance of hitting, but we could hollow target the sectoid. There we go. And then the next character that tries to shoot it will have a better chance. Okay, let's try this. So can we get to the sectoid in one turn? 35%, that's probably not good enough. Uh, I can move here, but that's just gonna put me in range of the sectoid again. I can't reach it with the grenade, so I'm gonna move here. Mind control still up. Hopefully none of my soldiers die on this turn. Oh, Sectoid moved closer to me, that's great. Okay, this is bad. That's fine, that's just armor. So here's, here's my soldier, he's flanking my own soldiers. And he's throwing, is that a frag? That was a frag grenade. Oops. Okay, so here's the part where I can actually get rid of the mind control. Flashbang will get rid of the mind control. Okay, which means now that is my soldier again. And now I can send soldiers around to shoot at the sectoid. Because while the sectoid is uh, disoriented, it cannot use uh, 
mind control or that kind of ability. So let's use the fire and then let's finish it off on the same turn. Okay, we've got our soldier up here who is injured. Do we have two medkits? I think we only have one medkit. Uh, move this soldier here. Move this soldier close to him. There we go. Will the medkit heal in an area? I don't know. We could try healing like this. Maybe it heals in an area. Hopefully. I don't think it does, though. No, it doesn't. Okay. Whatever. We we do need to get the... Where is the VIP? VIP's in there. So I'm going to go to this cover. Because hopefully if there was an alien in that building, it would have seen us by now. Okay, it looks like I was correct. Uh, I need to move this soldier. Because currently the soldier is uh, just standing with no cover. And that's going to be more important for me to fix than the sectoid being at two health and not dead. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll reload. Okay. I'm probably going to move my medic or whoever was holding the medkit through to the end of the mission at last. Okay, the sectoid's still disoriented. Is it on fire, though? Oh, it's overwatching. Okay. So I don't really want to move my characters until I'm sure that the sectoid's dead. Uh, I could move this character, though, because they are not able to be seen by the sectoid right now. Location They're way too far away for the sectoid to see them. Oh, this character has the other medkit. Okay. So once I get the VIP out, and I'm sure that nobody's able to get through, I can heal my other character and be a little safer getting out. Okay, I'm just gonna wait here. I'll even do a uh, reload and then hunker down. Hunker down gives me additional defense from cover. Okay, I could move but that would probably be a bad idea. Could shoot it. Eh, that's probably gonna be good enough. Either I hit it or... Yep, I hit it. That's good. So the sectoid's dead. Target neutralized. Which means now all the enemies that were attacking me are dead. I'm gonna put my sniper in overwatch, and I'm gonna start moving people up to the next place we need to go, which is the VIP. Okay. And there were no aliens that acted that turn. I'm going to move to the door. I think I can do it from there. Did that wake up any aliens? The cities weren't brainwashed enough. Who knows what the aliens are putting in their heads for entertainment. Okay. Got some kind of computer there. Okay, we're going to hack this door. We are guaranteed to get in because this is a required hack. We have basically no chance of getting the other stuff, but yeah, it's not going to happen. That doesn't matter. Okay, so we've got our engineer. Engineer has less health and no armor. We have the package and we're moving to deliver. So, I should probably get the engineer into cover and then move my soldiers ahead first. I've got 20 turns left until I can't complete the mission, so I'm pretty much fine. And now that I know that there's no enemies inside that building, I'm going to go ahead and move this character a little further away from the safe place. And hopefully I'll be able to heal him on the next turn. Uh, yeah, let's move up. Stepping off. Hopefully that won't reveal any aliens. Good. Uh, we can grab that loot and then start heading off. Yep, let's start heading out. On your order. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next roof with my sniper. And 
and I can't move that character at all. Well, I can move them to the corner of the room. That'll probably be better than nothing. If any enemies end up in there. Okay. And I'll move this character up. Okay, hopefully there aren't enemies that are going to show up. Good. So where can I move this character? That the other character could be next to them, but also in cover. I think here is good. I'm on it. That's not really going to be cover from anything, but at least it's cover. There we go. So now I can heal, because I did a blue move on that character. So here's the heal. Get up and get back out there. Okay. So those characters can't move anymore this turn. Uh, I could just move up ahead. I think I'll do blue moves on everybody. Or at least everybody who has a chance of being able to shoot at enemies. Uh, let's bring this character over here. I think he'll be able to reload and then move up to the next cover on the same turn. And I'm going to move my sniper to the next spot. That's probably good. Okay. Climbing up. So I don't see any enemies right now. And where can I move this? Let's move here. It'll block the ladder, but it's a little bit closer to the exit. And where is the next blue move I can do? I guess here. I'm on it. Okay. There are no aliens right now. So I'm gonna start moving people even more. Uh, I guess I moved the people a little closer. Uh, keep moving people up. Yep, no aliens. Uh, let's do a reload. Hopefully I can, yep, I can get to the next cover. Okay. I can move this character to there, to and overwatch. And I'll move the sniper so they can see the exit. Affirmative. So now we will know whether there are any aliens. And since they didn't discover anything, there are either no aliens left, or the aliens are uh, hiding further away than the exit. So I can just make people do longer moves now. No need to ask twice. Because I'm pretty sure I'm safe. Yeah, I'm safe. Okay. Let's keep moving people. Uh sure. There's some no need to ask cover. Twice. Okay. do an overwatch on the sniper because they're already pretty close uh let's hide here with the engineer and then move people up Got it. Moving. Moving to overwatch. okay so i'm almost to the point where i can get everybody out we'll move here if no aliens activate Oh, that means that we're probably going to just be able to get it. Oh, there's not even a place the aliens could be beyond that, because that's the edge of the level. Uh, yep, just keep moving people. If there is an alien remaining, it's probably further back, and we didn't trigger it to show up. Okay. Uh, I can evacuate the sniper on the next turn, so I'm going to overwatch. Uh, let's go here. This is a pretty clean mission compared to how it started. On overwatch. Okay, so first things first, we evacuate the engineer. Because the engineer can't fight, and if they're the last one on the map, then they're basically dead if there's any enemies. And now, let's make sure all my soldiers can get out before I evacuate any of them. They cannot all get out. 
but I'm pretty sure there are no aliens, so I'm just going to move to the edge of the move distance. Yeah. Let's overwatch on everybody else. They can get out. Okay. So that'll be the end of the turn, and now everybody's out. That's pretty good. Hopefully those missions that disappeared will show up again at some point. Not sure what happened. And that's the last soldier, I think. There we go. Okay. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Wow, that's a lot of gravely wounded soldiers. So now that I know that flamethrower is really useful, I think I'll go with more rousts. Uh, let's see. Close and personal, a plus 30 critical hit chance. Uh, let's see, what's this? So this is a shotgun that does like area of effect damage but it doesn't ignore cover so it's probably pretty useless for me yeah let's go with close and personal you've got a lot of shaken soldiers which means that they're going to be more susceptible to uh, the mind control kind of stuff center mass on that okay covering fire that means that the overwatch is including the overwatch we get from ever vigilant is going to also shoot at enemies who uh, try to shoot from a dis bleh, try to shoot at us we shoot back yeah I like death from above was that it? Yeah. That's probably the best one. Okay. So nobody died. Going stress of combat can shake up even the best of our soldiers. As long as we keep them healthy, I'm sure they'll recover given time. So we can get them to not be uh we can get rid of the shaken debuff. Your old man by having the managed to do here. soldier you've managed to do it yeah. I just wish he had lived we can get rid of shaken like by having the soldier kill something Trust during a mission me. and then leave without being injured your father always kept in mind it was his faith in okay he knew we could win well let's keep going terms. That is weird. I don't know where any of my missions went. Oh, there's a mission. Uh, rescue rebel contacts. Well, we've got two of our forum people there. So let's Second set the squad to go try to extract those people. 
Okay, here we go. We cannot send this many people. So let's... Oh, but we do have people who aren't equipped with medkits that are specialists. So we should set them to have medkits right now. And then I'm going to remove them from that. Uh, got another one with no medkit. Okay, let's see. We are still past our limit. Let's see, which perf which class do we have the most of? Uh, we could get rid of the Assault. Because Shinobi is kind of like Assault. And I guess that's as good as we're going to do. We don't need two of these people to have medkits. And because the Shinobi is usually pretty far from the rest of the squad, I'm going to give them a grenade instead. Oh, wait. I give them a flashbang grenade. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start that infiltration. Okay. And now we will... Let's check the black market. Maybe it changed. Who knows? I don't think it changed. Nope, it's still the same as it was before. Okay. Setting course for Western United States. That is weird. Got a guerrilla operation. Uh... We got one day to do it, and it's just for intel, so I'm going to ignore that one. Got a guerrilla operation. Oh, there's the guerrilla operation that disappeared for some reason. That's weird. Okay. So now that we have a bunch of soldiers. Let's see, we got a specialist. We got a ranger. Uh, we have plenty of time to start this mission, so I'm going to add more people. Still plenty of time. And still plenty of time. Okay. That puts us over. Okay. So let's remove one person. And that should be good enough. Actually, I forgot. We do need to check our weapon upgrades. So if it's possible to get a silencer... Oh, we have a suppressor. Yeah. So that will mean that the infiltration time is lower and that we can bring another soldier. Let's see, what else? Uh, that is still too much time. Can I add a suppressor to somebody else? Do we have another suppressor? We do have another suppressor. Did that put us under the limit? No. Let's see if there's another suppressor. Otherwise, it might be best to get rid of that last person and just hope that bonus reaction fire. Uh, let's put that on one of the rangers, if we have a ranger. There, we have a ranger. Okay, we'll give this ranger bonus reaction fire. Because that means that their passives are going to be stronger. Uh, we have specialist, specialist, we have assault, technical. Uh, let's go here. Do we have anything that's useful for... No, not really. Uh, we do have personal combat sims. Let's see what those do. We have personal combat sim, emergency life support, and mobility. Those are not really that useful at this point. Uh, weapon upgrade. Let's give better non-reaction aim to a soldier. And... Actually, speed might be very good on a assault character. Let's give that speed bonus to an assault character. And then weapon upgrades. We've got steady weapon and bonus reaction fire. Those wouldn't be useful on assault. We don't have a sniper. So, I don't think we're going to use any of those. But, that does put us slightly over the limit. So I'm going to remove one soldier. And now we're under the limit. Which means that we will be able to hopefully infiltrate more than 100%. Let's do that. Okay. And that one, I believe, was the one that we had basically no time to infiltrate. So we're going to ignore that. And we got another grill operation. 
Uh, this one we have 11 days to infiltrate. Extremely light. There's an item, apparently. I think that's the intel. Uh, let's just send in as many people as we can, I guess. Let's see, who do we have available? We have one, two, three, four, five, six soldiers available. We could send all six. Let's send all six. We have a ranger, so we can use that other hair trigger. Five and six. Okay, let's see. We've got specialists. Uh, we have a ranger. Ranger gets a hair trigger. Okay. Do we have a sniper? No. So I'm not going to give out anybody the stock. What is that personal combat zone? It's the emergency life support. We're going to ignore that for now. Uh, I guess that's it. We've got plenty of time to infiltrate. We're probably going to finish the infiltration and then do the mission way before the expiration time. So let's do that. I'm going to go back to Western U.S. We're near the end of March in this game. We got another guerrilla operation. We can't start this one yet. And it is a four-day expiration. But it looks like all of the people who are there are randomly generated, so I'm going to ignore that one. Center, now and now we have the Advanced Warfare Center. Let's view it. The Advanced Warfare Center, I'm going to put a scientist in there. And now, the soldiers that are injured, when I go out and... Oh, I guess I have to go to the bridge and then back. It'll show the soldiers that are injured being healed in there. Commander, I appreciate you recruiting new staff for Oh, I guess not. Maybe all my soldiers are already healed? I'm not sure. That's weird. We can have them working uh, excavation. We don't have any soldiers available for that right now. Uh we had an engineer. I guess we'll put our engineer here because then we can finish that project faster, that excavation project. Let's see, do we have the ability? We cannot start any proving ground projects. And over here, we have no soldiers for that. And I don't think we have enough supplies to buy anything useful. Yeah, we don't. So, I guess I'll call it for this one. Uh, yeah. I'll call it for this one. Unless, do we have any one we can recruit? Nope, we cannot recruit anyone. Okay, I'm gonna call it. See you next time.